Transformation Trauma, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. As always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I saw a Facebook meme where it showed a caterpillar talking to a butterfly. The caterpillar says to the butterfly, is it scary? The butterfly, it sure is. The caterpillar, is it worth it? The butterfly, it certainly is. He's talking about transformation, the process of transforming from a caterpillar to a butterfly in a cocoon through metamorphosis is probably terrifying. And yet, the change is absolutely necessary. We understand that we need to change, maybe more so in the first week of the new year than any other time, but the process of change can be scary for us. Paul here is urging us to transform our lives in one of two roads. Now, or, or we, to transform our lives. Now, there are basically two directions change can take, and we need to be careful. There's degenerative change, which is negative change that breaks us down and destroys us, or there's generative change, and that builds us up into what God desires us to be. Now, here's the thing to think about. If you're not intentionally engaging in generative change, you are engaging in degenerative change. In other words, there's no neutral ground. You don't stay like you are. You are heading one direction or the other. You are changing one way or the other. So over the next few uh, days, I'd like to talk about changing our mind. Uh, the renewing of your mind is what Romans 12 talks about. And there's some, there's some thinking errors that we can get rid of. And there's some thinking tools that we can add in from the word of God that can absolutely change everything for us. So let's, let's think through this concept of change and begin to live in new ways and get new results in our life. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd help us to change, to be transformed, to be renewed in the spirit of our mind. You have been so very good to us, God. I just pray that you'd bless us right now in Jesus name. Amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great